short run average and marginal cost concepts that approach this lesson is divided into three parts one how to draw the graph two relation among average total cost average fixed cost average variable cost and marginal cost 3 reasons for the u shape of the average total cost curve let us discuss the first one before drawing the graph Recollect what you have learnt about average and marginal costs and their movement in relation to the output. What is more important is that it is marginal cost which reaches minimum first. It is followed by average variable cost and average total cost. From the clipping, we understand MC reaches the minimum first at 3 units of output. It is less than that of the minimum value of average variable cost and average total cost. Fix it as point M. And then Average variable cost reaches the minimum at 4 units of output. Its value is higher than that of marginal cost. Fix it as point V. And then average total cost reaches the minimum at 5 units of output. Its total value is higher than that of average variable cost. Fix it as point T. Draw average total cost first through the point T. Draw the average variable cost curve through the point V. Draw the MC curve in such a way it passes through all the points right from M. To draw the average fixed cost curve, fix a point right below the minimum point of ATC on the average variable cost curve. Then draw the average fixed cost curve passing through that point. It must take a rectangular hyperbola shape. The most important point is that the marginal cost curve passes through the minimum point of average variable cost and average total cost curves. Well, we have completed the graph. We shall turn to the relation. First relation, to begin with, average total cost curve falls because average fixed cost and average variable cost are falling. Second relation, beyond the minimum point, average variable cost increases, but average total cost continues to decline. Why? The reason is average fixed cost falling. Moreover, the rate of fall of average fixed cost is greater than the rate of increase of average variable cost. Third relation. To the right of the minimum point of average total cost, it increases. This is because 
average variable cost is increasing. Again, rate of rise of average variable cost is greater than the rate of fall of average fixed cost. Fourth relation, as average total cost increases, average variable cost moves closer to average total cost. This is due to fall of average fixed cost continuously. Fifth relation, average total cost and average variable cost will never cut each other. The reason is, average fixed cost will never become zero. Sixth relation. To start with, the gap between average total cost and average variable cost is large. It shrinks as output increases. This is caused by a continuous fall in average fixed cost. Now, we shall look into the reasons for the U-shape of the average total cost curve. Apart from the relations, which are also reasons for the U-shape of the average total cost curve, we can include what is going to be stated now. So to start with, the average total cost curve falls because of the operation of the law of increasing returns or law of decreasing cost. At the minimum point of average total cost curve, law of constant returns R law of constant cost operates. After that, law of diminishing returns or law of increasing cost drives the curve upwards. Hence, the average total cost curve, otherwise known as average cost curve, is U-shaped. That ends our discussion on graphic approach. Thanks for watching. We shall meet again.